Okay, so this is going to be quite a simple one. Uh, this is an extension really of the one of the early videos I did when I started doing these and that was the sum of the values in a base table. Now of course not everything needs to be or should be written to a database and therefore you may want to calculate your values simply from a local state variable whether it be a page state or an, an app state. In this scenario we are using an app state which is a list. So what we're going to do, we're going to calculate the sum of the values in in our in one of the items in our list. So the first thing you need to do is create an app state variable called mine order. This is actually a sort of a food ordering type scenario we've got here. And it is essentially an empty list. And that's all you need to do in this instance. And then also you need a custom data type. And that will be the name of, well, in this instance, I'm using the name of the item that's been ordered and the cost of the item that's been ordered. So that's a string and a double. So you're going to need those two items first. Now, how we're setting this up. Now, I've got some, again, in this example is a food ordering scenario. Essentially, we've got a menu where we scroll through some different pages. So starters, mains, sides, etc. And the action on the button. So when you add, so these are being pulled from a super base query, basically. The um, the items in the list are being pulled from the super base query, but we want to calculate and then we're basically our customer is going to sort of add the items to their order, which is going into our list. And then when they get to check out, it's going to display them what they've put in their order and how much it's going to cost. And they can then remove stuff when they get to that page. So on the icon there, we have got an action. And what we're doing, we're updating the app state. And we are adding to the list. So what I'll do, I'll recreate this just below so you can see how I did it add an action state management update an app state and then the field we're doing is the list obviously and we are adding to the list and then the values we're adding is our data type objects which is menu and the fields we're setting is the name and then that is the row from the list, which is the name from our list object. And then the cost, which is again from the menu list object cost from the database query, basically. And that is how we're updating the app state. And then we're doing that. I'll just remove that though. We're doing that obviously every time a user clicks on any of these add buttons and what we end up with is a list of objects basically with their name and their cost and then on the checkout page we display them and then we have a list view there also which displays the items in our list so our list is being created from our app state variable order and then we're mapping those in the way we normally would so what we're doing on page load and this is the important bit what we want to do is all of the items we've added to that list we want to know the value of the cost which is our total we've got the number of items and the value now what we're doing on page load we've got a custom action which is summing the order values so we're adding the order list items as the input argument to our custom action and the output we're getting is cost so we'll come back to that in a second so if we go to some order values this as usual will be available to copy down below and we've got a custom action that essentially we've got a list which is a JSON type being inputted into our 
function. We're essentially extracting the cost and we're summing the cost items and we're returning the sum as a double. And that is what we're getting the value there and also the number of list items. So, so how we then add in that here. So our order is app state and then you want the selection to map the list items and then available options to JSON because remember JSON is the format in which we're sending into our into our custom action then no further changes and then such we're doing our items in list we're sending as a JSON into the custom action returning the sum of all the costs which is what is then displayed in the box and that is how that is a way not necessarily the way but it is a way of how you calculate the sum of the values in a local state variable what we'll do now we will just run a test on it and watch it work okay so i haven't really populated this much just as the holding image and all the rest of it uh, it's just for testing purposes so excuse the sparseness um, however what we're doing we've got our starters we've got our mains we've got our garlic bread all the same nice uh, looking vegan burger there right so um essentially we're going to add our halloumi fries to our list and we'll get an item added to order and then we want a vegan burger and then we want um some of these actual donuts and then we'll add those to the order so if we then go to our cart as you can see there i mean we've got a bit of an error there i need to solve in terms of what's being displayed but that's not really an issue but you can see there we've got number of items three and we've got the value so that's how you do it i say it's pretty straightforward um quite a good one to use obviously certainly on this kind of scenario because then before you then write the order to the database for the back end to then use that information to create the order uh, you're not keep doing stuff to and from the database you're just doing it locally sending it once and that's job done so hopefully you can use that like i say it kind of follows on a little bit from the one i did quite a while ago regarding doing this from a table but this is how you do it in a variable i'm sure there's been done before but that's why i do it and hopefully that helps and i will speak to you next time